axolotls can suffer from a range of health issues, and the worst part is that many of these issues often go unnoticed until it's too late. In this video, we're going to reveal six red flags that you should never ignore when it comes to your axolotl's health. Stick around until the end of the video, where we will reveal the single most important thing you can do to ensure your axolotl never experiences any of these health issues. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos about axolotls. Now let's get straight to red flag number one, gills. The gills are the feathery external organs that are located on either side of the axolotl's head. They extract oxygen from the water and release carbon dioxide, allowing the axolotl to breathe. When an axolotl is experiencing gill issues, there are some common signs that you can look out for. One of the most notable signs is gasping or struggling to breathe. If your axolotl is gasping for air at the surface of the water or appears to be struggling to breathe, it could be a sign of gill damage or infection. Another common sign of gill issues is red or inflamed gills. Healthy gills should be a light pink or reddish color, but if you notice that your axolotl's gills are dark red, inflamed, or have a slimy or fuzzy appearance, it could be a sign of bacterial or fungal infection. In some cases, the gills may even appear to be protruding or swollen. Finally, any abnormal growths or discoloration on your axolotl's gills could be a sign of tumors or other growths that could be obstructing their breathing. This could cause your axolotl to struggle to breathe and could lead to further complications if left untreated. Number 2. Skin. Axolotls have a unique and sensitive skin that serves as a protective barrier against external factors such as pollutants, bacteria, and parasites. Any changes or damage to the skin can be a red flag for illness or poor water quality. Healthy axolotl skin should be a consistent color across the body. If you notice any patches of discoloration or spots on the skin, it could be a sign of bacterial or fungal infection. The discoloration may appear as white, gray, or brown patches and can spread quickly if left untreated. Any open sores or lesions on the skin can be a sign of injury, infection, or parasites. These wounds may appear as red or white spots on the skin and can be accompanied by other symptoms such as lethargy, loss of appetite, or difficulty swimming. Shedding is a natural process in axolotls, but excessive shedding could be a sign of an underlying health issue. Axolotls that shed excessively may appear dull or discolored, and their skin may flake off in large pieces. This could indicate stress, illness, or poor water quality. Number 3. Eyes. One of the most common signs of health problem in axolotls is cloudy or milky eyes. This can be an indicator of a bacterial or fungal infection, or it could be a sign of stress or poor water quality. If left untreated, this condition can lead to blindness and even death. Another sign of illness in axolotls is sunken or swollen eyes. This could be an indication of dehydration, which can be caused by a lack of water or a lack of humidity in the tank. It could also be a sign of infection or injury. Bulging eyes are another red flag to watch out for. This could be a sign of a bacterial infection, a tumor, or other underlying health issues. Number 4. Abnormal Behavior Aggression is one behavior issue that can indicate stress, overcrowding, or poor water quality in axolotls. This may manifest as an axolotl becoming aggressive towards other tank mates or displaying aggressive behavior towards objects in the tank. For instance, biting or attacking its own limbs. It's important to investigate the cause of the aggression and take action to address the issue. One solution could be to increase the size of the tank or add more hiding places for the axolotl to reduce stress levels. Erratic swimming is another behavior issue that can be a sign of stress, illness, or poor water quality. If your axolotl is swimming in an unusual manner, such as darting back and forth or swimming sideways, it may indicate a health problem or distress. This could be caused by various factors such as poor water quality, lack of oxygen, or injury. It's important to investigate the cause of the erratic swimming and take action accordingly. This may involve testing and correcting water parameters, providing enough aeration or filtration, or seeking veterinary care if necessary. Number 5. Loss of Appetite Loss of appetite can indicate an underlying health issue that can quickly become severe if left untreated. As aquatic creatures, axolotls rely on their food for energy, growth, and overall health. If they stop eating or reduce their food intake, it can lead to a variety of health problems. 
loss of appetite can be caused by a variety of factors, including illness, stress, poor water quality, and changes in environment or diet. If an axolotl does not eat for an extended period of time, it can lead to malnutrition, weaken immune system, and susceptibility to infections and diseases. Additionally, axolotls have a relatively high metabolic rate and require regular feeding to maintain their energy levels and overall health. If they go without food for too long, it can lead to weight loss, weakness, and even death. Some potential solutions may include offering a variety of foods to see if there is a preference, adjusting feeding times, or providing a more comfortable and stress-free environment. However, if the loss of appetite persists or is accompanied by other symptoms such as lethargy or abnormal behavior, it is important to consult with a veterinarian who specializes in exotic aquatic animals. They can help diagnose any underlying health issues and provide appropriate treatment options to ensure the best possible outcome for your axolotl. Number 6. Lethargy. Lethargy is characterized by a lack of activity or movement, and axolotls may appear sluggish or uninterested in their surroundings. If you notice that your axolotl is spending more time than usual at the bottom of the tank or is less active than usual, it could be a sign of lethargy. Lethargy can be caused by a variety of factors, including poor water quality, stress, illness, or injury. Lethargy alone is not a definitive sign of illness or injury, as axolotls can also become lethargic during times of low activity or environmental changes. However, it should be taken seriously and monitored closely for any other accompanying symptoms or changes in behavior. If you notice that your axolotl is exhibiting signs of lethargy, monitor their behavior closely and keep a record of any accompanying symptoms. This can help you determine if there are any underlying health issues that need to be addressed. The single most important thing you can do to make sure your axolotl stays healthy is to maintain good water quality and provide your axolotl with a healthy diet and a comfortable environment. Regular water changes, proper filtration, and a varied diet can all help keep your axolotl healthy and active. It's also important to avoid overfeeding your axolotl, as excess food can contribute to poor water quality and health issues. Additionally, make sure to provide plenty of hiding places and plants in the tank, as this can help reduce stress and promote natural behaviors in your axolotl. Check out this video where we reveal the secrets to maintaining perfect water conditions for your axolotl so that you can avoid these devastating consequences. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more useful videos about axolotls.